What is up guys and welcome to the second episode of F1 Manager 23. If you missed the previous episode, we have taken on the role of Andrea Stella as the team principal at McLaren. We are attempting to turn this ship around and failing miserably. Last episode was not a good one. Oscar Piastri lacked massive pace. Lando was good, but I think arguably, uh, well, we just, we lacked pace. That was, that was the, uh, the crux of it all. But heading into this race, uh, Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, March 17th to 19th. Uh, we have 11 days before that race. We might be able to squeeze an upgrade on. First and foremost, Oscar, no, Lando has missing car parts. We had a collision in the last race, so we need to chuck on a new wing. Boom, boom, boom. Chassis also got damaged in the last one, uh, so we're going to crack that on the car. Lovely stuff. Now, let's go to car one. I think Oscar was missing the new suspension. You can see the component wear as well. At what point do you want to swap components? I don't know yet. Oh, they were both missing the new suspension. Install on car one. So it wasn't an upgrade issue for Oscar. They both had the same part. Oscar was just slow. Oh my word. Okay. We do need to manufacture a new chassis because we only have one spare at this stage. Uh, let's do two. Nothing too crazy. A mill. A mill for two chassis on normal development speed. That is nuts. Let's cancel that project. A mill. It might just be worth cracking on with the new, the next spec of suspension. An update on the standings. It's not good. P9 in the constructors. No points for either driver in the last race. P15 for Lando. We met the sponsor objectives, which was nice. Oscar Piastri last. Pit stops. We had the fifth best pit stop. So... I mean, this is a championship now, so let's see if we can win that at least. Anyway, uh, let's check the inbox. New ATR period starts today, so let's get some upgrades going on this car. What do we want to design? Suspension, side pods. McLaren did some big side pod upgrades recently. Let's have a look at rear wing. But let's do the inverse, I suppose. We were going to do about that and then 20 hours on whatever was left, so I'm thinking this. Let's whack that on. 4.3 for that. And 33 days. Okay. There we go. Rear wing. Whack that on. Memorabilia room. Let's go. Uh, if we do get in trouble, we are a little bit low on parts. If we lose a chassis this weekend, we'll have no spares. We only have one spare at the moment. We'll have to emergency manufacture something. And weather sensor is done. Not that we'll need it this weekend. This is a nice thing to have going forwards. Forecast accuracy now 70%. Huge. Boardroom is level two. Good morning, Benjamin. I have spoken with the board and I'm sorry to say that we are rather concerned about the team's recent poor performance. The success of the team on race weekends is, of course, one of our primary ways of, of evaluating you as a team principal. We trust that you can turn this situation around, but we cannot operate on faith alone. So we must ask, and when can we expect better results. I've had one race. Oscar was garbage and Lando got damaged through no fault of his own. That's not on me. One race, bro. Just chill. Oh, okay. This might be a new thing. At the next Grand Prix or in time. Oh my words. Way to pile on the pressure to myself. We don't have upgrades for this race. So let's say in time. If, if we, if we promise the world with no upgrades, like we're in the mud. So let's just, uh, let's just delay, 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 delay that bad situation. Anyway, race preps, performance targets. I mean, we, we, we got top 15 with one driver. That's, that was essentially meeting our objectives. Let's promise Q2. We can do that, uh, with one driver. I don't trust Oscar right now. He needs development. Race, finishing position. They wanted 14th. Definitely thought it was 15th. All right. We need top 14. Let's see if we can deliver this weekend in Saudi. It's time to the race weekend. Oh my God. We have just shot to P3 at the end of practice three on medium compound tires. Yes, it was pretty much a qualifying star run. We did do deploy and we did push the fuel as well. But my words, I was not expecting that. Hello. Apart from that, guys, we were struggling in practice. I felt like we've... Done a good enough job with the setups. We'll actually hit continue now. 
and we'll see what's what. But the rest of the weekend, we were struggling below like top 15. Absolutely no incidents. No one was making any mistakes all weekend. Uh, higher setup satisfaction for Oscar than Lando, which I'm surprised about. And I'm hoping that car parts knowledge goes up through the weekend and that'll be bang on 100% by the time we get into the Grand Prix. But there we go. That is practice. Confidence is pretty good. It must be said. Just like before, we're going to hold station. We're going to wait for the track to rubber in. Might be worth sending Lando. Nice bit of clear air too. Okay, I guess I guess best time to send out Oscar might be here before the rubber gets too much. Grip isn't going to improve that a great deal. Come on, Oscar. Please be on the pace of Lando this weekend. I need you to be on pace. I'm going to I'm gonna leave Lando in the box. Off you go, Oscar. Lando is ego retired from this session. And actually, Piastri might be in a bit of slipstream. Tires are cold starting this lap. What's the deal with that? Anyway, we got Perez right up the chuff of Oscar. Actually ruined the Red Bulls run. Things we love to see. You're goddamn right. Still, they've only just come into temperature now. Oh my god, he can't get past. He can't get past. Don't hold up, Oscar, please. Alright, very nice. Oscar is in the danger zone now. Oscar is in the danger zone. Personal best, middle sector. Come on, just hold off Perez for one more corner. Will we see Oscar Piastri into Q2? Please. Please. Come on, Oscar, you can improve. Come on! Sad times. Disaster strikes again. Two tenths was the difference in the end. I took manual control to hopefully get closer to a car ahead and get slipstream. It's it's very RNG how much they will push, who they'll overtake or, or whatever. Maybe maybe Perez was holding him up on his lap, but it's I don't want to make excuses for him. It is a Q1 knockout for Oscar Piastri. We always knew that this first half of the season was going to be tough. At least Lando has got through. He's got through on the same tire. We'll send him out on used tires, and uh, we'll see if we can get a sneaky car into Q3. Wow, no track improvements or movements that is interesting in terms of, like the grip level oh he's gonna get held up by sonoda slower than sergeant though that's not great let's wait till the very end of the session to send him out all right here we go on board with lando for this q2 lap can we make it in to q3 we need a second really to get into q3 let's see if we can do it looks good so far is the time attached? Again. It's the same as last round. He's faster on used tyres. Oh, and blocked anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Lewis. Absolute legends. Well, P15. That should be impeding. That should be a penalty for impeding. But it won't be. Where would we have gotten if we... I mean... P12, at least, I was hoping for, but we'll never know. Lando just a beast on used tyres. Can't improve on new. Pre-race reports. Expected strategies. Soft hard. Oh, wow. Medium hard, soft hard. Hard medium. Let's have a look at the strategy. We don't call them strategies here, guys. We call them strategies. Medium, medium. Well, it's quicker than the other strats we have, so that's good. That's only five seconds slower. Okay, let's, let's make some adjusting. I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk it changing compound because I think I'll get disqualified. Right now there is a glitch, and then we experienced it last episode, where everyone used soft tires. Well, not everyone. Half the field used soft tires for the majority of the Grand Prix, and they got away with it. They didn't get disqualified. I don't know if I want to chance it, guys. Lando. Lando is better on tire management. Might make sense for him to do a one stop. Soft hard. We get a nice cheeky undercut with that. Get him on the tires early. What about soft medium? Eight seconds quicker. Hello. Ah, oh, two stop is quicker. Two stop is quicker. It makes sense of, of the two drivers. Oscar is worse on his tires. Lando's better on his tires. We'll do it this way. Um, and I think we'll add one kilo of fuel to both. So we've got the flexibility to push it a little bit more. Try medium soft soft. Okay. Oh, it's one second quicker. <laughs> soft medium soft. That would probably work better for the undercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're taking on strats from, from chat. It's slower, but it gets us ahead of people. Strategy D. Let's do it. There could be safety cars. There could be red flags. Here we go. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. 
and it's lights out, and away we go. Push, 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 push. Who gets the better start? Looks like Lando is ahead. Hold that thought. Side by sides. There's a battle going on. There is battling. I didn't think they'd be battling each other, but here we are. Lando gets the ascendancy. Down to standard for Oscar. Just as long as you don't lose track position, we're all good. Come on, Lando. What tires everyone on? And even split. Probably more people on mediums than softs right now. Oh, and Bottas loses the spot to DeVries. Unlucky, mate. Let's see if we can get some cheeky DRS on Sonoda. We're on those Ferrari strats right now. Maybe we push a little bit more. Your tires are okay for temps. Oh, you've just been overtaken. Very good. Very good. The downfall of Oscar has begun. The AI have no problem overtaking, but we just... We can't overtake to save our lives. Apparently. The breeze is now on the move on us now. I thought we'd be going forwards, not backwards, guys. Come on, Lando. Do something. Tires will cool out a little bit. Oh, we're still learning about the tires. Badger Man says you can run very hot with tires. You can still, like, go push mode. You can go push modes on this year's game. Much like you did at the early stage of F1 Manager 22. Uh, apparently, it doesn't matter so much. So, we'll just test... Hot tyres versus tyres in their operating window. I guess the thing, the thing is, we're just lacking pace in this car. Very hard to overtake. I think we're slow in a straight line. We're just slow. We're just slow. Everywhere. <laughs> we got DRS on DeVries. It can't do anything. Not going for the move. DeVries is defending everything, by the way. Battling. For Sonoda. And Logie Bear. Also battling up here. Russell. Oh, there's been a big crash. Safety car. Safety car deployed. And this is why. Alonso on George. I think George turned in. George turned in early. Interesting. Where are we at for our race strategies? Probably a bit early to go mediums. So potentially hards. Potentially hards. Let's take hards. I'll leave Lando out. He's still on mediums. Although, we'd only lose about three spots for Lando and get much fresher tyres. Choice is ours. Pass opting to double stack. Okay, we're going to leave Lando out. This could work for us. Understood. I'm glad we stayed out in the end. Pass for Piastri. And we jumped to Breeze. We jumped the Williams. Huge. Huge. Oscar. Doesn't lose any positions and is on new tires. That's massive. No. Chat says, I'm going to get swallowed up by everyone. However, we have Bottas as protection on older tires. So as long as Lando can get a good restart here, might be all right. Even on the safety car, we lost 4%, which is higher than I thought it would be. But let's go racing. to go for the restart. Let's put them under pressure. Confirm. Oh, take any what's going on there in the turn one? That was weird. We're away. We are away. Let's go. What tires is everyone around us? Everyone's got older tires or worse tires than us ahead. Gasly immediately overtakes Bottas. Not ideal. But Norris is uh, looking pretty quick compared to Sonoda. Look, I don't think we're going to be able to overtake with Piastri. Best case scenario, we stay with these guys in DRS. This is a long-term play for, for Piastri. Oh, good. We're being overtaken. Anyway, side-by-side -side battle for the Red Bulls. It is kicking off up the front. I can't wait for next episode when we have upgrades on the car. I don't know if people have actually brought upgrades to this race. If they have, then GG's. But right now, we are... Dealing with what we have right now. And what we have is is not a lot. Anyway, we have two people out of the Grand Prix. Russell and Alonso after that, that crash. So, higher chance we can uh, get top 14 with both drivers. Although it doesn't feel like that is exactly on the cards right now. Lando feels slow. Uh, I think with the fuel situation now, we're going to be on full push for the rest of the race. No concerns about fuel. Facts are probably too heavy. Oh, hello. Piastri. Oh, good. Well, at least it's not damage. 
Oscar's looking threatening on Bottas, by the way. Let's put him up to high aggression and maybe some deploy. Driving clean air. Pick clear air if you can. Copy. Come on. Come on. Yes! We're attempting an overtake. I said attempting. Are we going to complete it, though? Up the inside. Yes! We have made an overtake on F1 Manager. Bearing in mind, it is proving to be very difficult to execute. Come on! Get the job done, mate! Deploy push modes aggressive and he backs out. Bloody hell. Could have to shag around here to get an overtake. What good is a game when you can't overtake? DRS train simulator. Is he going to get the job done? It gives Bottas DRS, I think. No. We've got DRS. We can't do diddly squat about it. Side by side again. The perfect recipe to hold each other up. Two seconds shy of the next group of cars. Lovely stuff. Lando's tyres still ain't in good nick. Please cool down. Cool down. Tyres cool down. Is Lando going to make an overtake? Nope. Don't be silly. We don't do that here. It's a cracking battle between this lot. Sergeant, the train conductor. Good. Now let's take a look here at turn 10. There's the opening. Okay, Oscar, now you've seen someone else do it. Now you can do it. And we've been overtaken again. What's the point of, what, what's the point of me being here? What's the point of me doing this? <laughs> What's the gap to the leader? It's not terrible. It isn't terrible. Oscar's not in bad shape, but like the leaders will probably overcut us. Oh! So let's take a Whoa! Look right. It's happened! Second corner. It's Let's happened! For the taking. He did it! An overtake! And that sees them move to 15. But did he stay ahead? He did. Oh my words. Our race starts now. Let's go. Norris got past Sergeant. Now here we are tackling turn three. It's certainly inviting. Nice. Unorthodox. Patience pays off. Come on, guys. Guess we're burning off that fuel and becoming more competitive. Can we please drop Bottas now? We were so close to dropping him. We're catching this group, though. We are catching the group. Oh, nine tenths. Nine tenths. Nine tenths. I am tempted to get Lando out of this group. If we're slow, it's Hulkenberg. It was Sonoda holding us all up. Hulkenberg. Oh, Stroll boxes. And emerges in this group. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. I know, but Badger Man was, was still pushing even though the tires are in the red. So I'm, I'm giving it a go. It looks like the tires, even though they were overheating, we were going quicker. I don't think it was costing as much time as you, you think it was. When we get in DRS... Then we'll cool off the tyres. Okay, I think it's undercut time. Norris has now got worse tyres than... Uh, these people boxed. Alright, Oscar is in 8 tenths. Let's ease it down to aggro mode. For him, Hamilton's in the box. Okay, time to react. Let's box. Let's get on hards. Let's get out of this train. And hopefully work the undercut. Worst case scenario, everyone else boxes as well. They don't. Alright, let's go. This is huge. This is big for our race. Bando goes on to the hards. Very good. And out we go. Cold tires. Full send on these. This is the time to make up the difference. Fuel load is normalizing compared to those around us now, I'd say. It's coming down. And this is where we're going to eat into the cars ahead massively. This is good. Maybe even top up the battery while we're chilling here. Oh, good. Debris on his knackered tyres. Very good. Perez held in the box there for a while. Red Bull's crew ready for the pit stop. Oh, but they have trouble releasing the car. Don't hold on so long. We've gained three seconds on Bottas. Yes, we have. We are looking all right at this stage. I really hope these guys box soon. They're holding me up. I don't like it. I reckon for Oscar, we probably box for mediums towards the end. Okay, so I guess the earlier we get on these, the better. Is it worth boxing Oscar then? Undercutting these guys. 
All right, let's get the hell out of here then. On to mediums. All right, please. Do not box. 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 He's boxing. Ah, oh, they box sergeants. We're going to need a good pit stop compared to Williams here. Please jump this guy in the box. Otherwise, this could be race ruins. On to mediums. Good. Yes. Even with the pit stop issue. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Now we push. Get the hell away from this guy. I never want to see you again. Can't wait for him to overtake me with ease. And then it's back to square one. Now we just leave the drivers to it. On push modes. Maybe a bit of deploy for Oscar on this next lap. Okay, deploy now. Use what you have, bro. Don't let him get in DRS. That would ruin my day. All right, Sonoda's in. And he goes on the softs. Thankfully, we jump those guys. Don't need to worry about him. Come on, get out behind the Williams. Yes. Le lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. All right, let's crack on. Oh, Verstappen with a pit stop issue. The Red Bull team waiting. The tire isn't tightened enough, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is huge. It's a massive one. A massive error for Red Bull. I think they screwed up Perez's pit stop as well. Verstappen's going to be nowhere. P9. That's race ruining that. Albon's in. That looks like a slow stop as well. Everyone's having issues issues today. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Albon is going to come out ahead of Piastri. Oh, and Sergeant's in our DRS. What the hell? A lot of, a lot of people are going to box for us. Hopefully Bottas doesn't get in our way. The Alphas need to box. Ocon coming in now. It looks like softs for everyone to the end of the Grand Prix now. Tire wear doesn't look like it's that much of a factor. Hulkenberg in two. I imagine it's going to be softs. And it is. Okay. We really, really need... Oh, good. We really need the Alphas to box this lap. AI might struggle to get to the end on softs. They might be making another stop on top of this. Stay close. Nice. Overtakes are happening now. Overtakes. Okay, I'm much happier now. I'm not happy about this scenario though. 76% on your tires. Surely they're not making it. Science needs to box. What's going on a Ferrari? Surely he's coming in now. He's staying out. Dude's going to be risking a puncture. Maybe from here, if Science goes softs, he can make it to the end. Some of these guys, though, I'm really not sure about. Sergeant, I think, has to stop again, guys. Does he not? Oh, very close. Hulkenberg is through. This could be a fight for a point. The strategy is very interesting, this race. Very interesting. Science finally boxes. Another lap, he would have got a puncture, for sure. Softs. Okay. Magnuson boxes. I think I think we might be racing Magnuson as we get overtaken by Hulkenberg. Very good. Please stay with. Stay with. Magnuson might jump us. Yeah, he does. Maybe not fighting for points in the end. 15 laps to go. Nice move. You made it look easy. Nice move, Albon. You made it look easy. Oh. Let's get back in the rhythm. I think we are a bit more set in stone now. Let's go a bit more aggressive on you. One place won, one place lost. Agree. Gastry's in danger of losing another one. He's weaving. Look at him moving around, breaking the slipstream. I like it. Aggressive. Now we're approaching turn two. The opportunity begging to be taken. Bro drove into us. <laughs> Collision's off. Well, they're not off for uh, Russell and Alonso, that's for sure. What do we do now, guys? We have Sergeant and Sonoda between ourselves, Norris and Piastri. DeVries is going to box, surely. Sergeant might need to box again. 
Screw it, let's go attack mode. He's easier on tires. Let's try out the pushing the tires, even if it means overheating. Yeah. Let's see what it does for the intervals. Gastry gets past Sergeant again. And Norris, despite being on really hot tires, is catching Albon. They've settled into a nice rhythm. We've dropped Sergeant by an absolute mile now. Can we close in on Albon? If we overtake Albon and then there's a retirement for the top 10, anything's possible. Anything's possible. Lando's confidence is very high, so we can get away with pushing this hard. What about Oscar? Very high for him as well. Okay, maybe we chill out now. There's not much we can do. Gap is still over two seconds. Let's just bring it home. Bring it home. Sonoda a long way behind Norris. Anyway, Perez, it looks like he's going to win the Grand Prix. Here he comes, out of the last corner. He's got a bit of pressure from behind in the home world lap car. But Sergio Perez wins his first race of F1 Manager 2023. <laughs> Verstappen P2 after that horrendous pit stop from Red Bull, by the way. Marginally ahead of Charles Leclerc. Signs fourth. For us, it's going to be P12. Nice little battle between uh, Stroll and Hamilton, by the way. Stroll might get him on the run up to the line. He's got the DRS. And he gets him. Top five for Stroll. GG's. Really saving Aston Martin's bacon after Alonso retired early. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any retirements for these guys. So P12 for Lando. Good effort. I feel like we did well on strategy. We uh, got ourselves out of traffic by staying out under safety car. Arguably, it went a little bit worse for Oscar, but I think naturally it's just car pace, which kept us out of the top 10. And especially pace of Piastri, which meant that his strategy didn't work. But, you know, that's that's the state of the car right now. Uh, but yeah, I think in the end, I probably could have promised a little bit more to the board of directors for this race. We met the objective of one car inside the top 14. So I think they should be happy. We got two in the top 14. Uh, driver standings. It's just depressing looking at this. But Oscar moves up a couple of places after that good results. Overtakes this lot. But still no points for McLaren at this early stage. Uh, we did good in the, uh, I guess, fastest pit stop challenge. Both Oscar and Lando getting good stops, respectively. Red Bull just to bed today. They were nowhere. No driver bonuses. It's uh, very ambiguous as to whether or where you uh, actually earn driver skill points. Race simulator upgrade complete. Still on 69 smoothness. Cornering still on 75. It's been two races now and he hasn't developed. I don't think Lando's developed either. Slightly concerning, but there we go. A challenging race, a satisfying race, a good one in terms of strategy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content but uh we'll be back very soon for episode three of this manager journey where oscar is returning well or venturing to his home race for the first time in formula one let's see how we get on and see if we can rewrite history or repeat history and get him a point there let's do it